Hi Pisces, Mary here. I have your monthly guidance for the month of April 2019. I just want to th say thank you for your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I really appreciate it. And um, just know it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. And you can also check out your moon sign as well as your rising sign. Okay. What can you tell me for the sign of Pisces for April 2019? Seven of Swords. What can you tell me for the sign of Pisces for April 2019? Four of Wands. We have the Star card. And the last card for Pisces for April 2019. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so the first card up is the Seven of Swords. So this card makes me think that there's someone that is possibly deceiving you in some way. Or you could be deceiving someone else in some way. But I feel like there's someone that is not being truthful. So just be aware. Um, and it's Sword Energy, which is Intellect. This could be in a communication, words, something of that nature. could be gossip. Um, but just be aware of it. Um, you've got the Four of Wands, so that, that tells me that you have a happy home life. Um, things are good on the home front. Family, children, um, relationships look good. So I feel like you're in, in a contented place or you're thinking about moving, buying a new home, something that has to do with the home. Now you've got the star card, and the star card is like coming out of the shadows. It's all about hope and faith in the future, but it's also about coming out and being seen. <laughs> you know, the star of your show. So you may have to come out of the shadows, you may have to uh, be front and center in some way this month. You've got the Eight of Cups, which tells me that you are leaving something and walking towards something else. So you may have everything that you need materially, but you're looking for maybe more spirituality or something of that nature. It's like you're headed in a new direction or towards a new thing. Um, I'm going to pull some cards from, this is Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle. And this is for the sign of Pisces. What can you tell me for the sign of Pisces? For April 2019, what can you tell me for the sign of Pisces? Regeneration. It's funny, I read for a gentleman yesterday, and he was a Pisces, and he got um, three of these cards. <laughs> out of these five. That's funny. Um, so you go, you're going through a rebirth, a regeneration. You're like the, um, the phoenix rising out of the ashes. So from whatever is going on in your life, um, it looks like nothing could grow here, but indeed a tree grew here. So it's number 46, and 4 plus 6 adds up to 10. That's all about new beginnings. It, it, it comes to 1. New beginnings, there's new life here. There's a new start for you in some way. This could be like you're walking away from a certain type of life. Um, you're, you're maybe coming out of the shadows, more into your own, maybe feeling more comfortable in your own skin, speaking your truth, just coming out and, you know, from this place of contentment, perhaps, in your family life, it like gives you the courage to come out because you're more comfortable in your own skin, so you're coming out of the shadows, more into the spotlight, um, and seeing a new beginning for you. Okay, this is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. This is for the sign of Pisces for April 2019. What can you tell me for the sign of Pisces, April 2019? Thank you so much. Seriously, I got this card for this guy I read for who was a Pisces yesterday. That's so funny. 
It says to release the old. And does it say rest? <laughs> release the old and rest. So by releasing the old, you're releasing the energies that are dense, energies of resentment, guilt, things from your past. Just let that go. Um, Cause, and I see you doing that because you've got the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from, from something and going towards something else. It's a new start, a rebirth. Now, maybe you've been working really hard and you haven't taken much time off for yourself. Um, rest, if you can. Um, take care of yourself. Uh, if, you, if you're just working all day and you, you don't exercise, try to do something to move your body. If you... Um, you know, if you're sitting at a desk all day, that, that sort of thing. Um, rest, take a vacation. If you can get a couple days off, even better. Um, if you can only get an afternoon off, then that's all you can do. But you need to take some time for yourself and re... It's like your tank is empty and you need to refill it. So whatever that means to you. Um, you can call on Archangel Sandalphon. Archangel Sandalphon is the twin Archangel of Archangel Metatron. They were both here in human form at one time. So they help us with the day-to-day -day stuff. Stuff that we feel like, um, you know, I really don't want to bother God with that. Of course, you can talk to God at any time. Or, the, or your higher power, or source energy, whatever you want to call it. But Archangel Sandalphon is there for us. He actually helps... Um, work with our um, soul, or what is it, the earth star chakra that's about um, a foot below our feet. He's the archangel that you would call on to work with our earth star chakra. Um, he also helps to bring our prayers to God if you think they're just mundane, you know, just daily stuff that you don't want to bother God with. Archangel Sandalphon brings those prayers to God. So, you know, it's the, it's the daily stuff, but, um, you know, you do have to ask. The archangels know we have free will. They're not going to interfere without us asking. So don't be afraid to ask for assistance if you need it. Um, please try to get some rest and take care of your body. Uh, I see really a new beginning for you, a real moving out of the shadows, really becoming the star. Um, don't know how, don't know what that means to you, but... Um, that's what I see for you. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there. If you like these readings, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a message below if you resonate. And if you're interested in the retreat, there is one more opening left, May 9th through the 14th. Send me an email to thelighthousemedium at gmail.com, and I'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.